What's up guys? 3x with you once again and I have some Saints Row gameplay for you. I actually wanted to uh, take this time to make this video to talk a little bit more about Saints Row. Uh, the last time I put up a video on Saints Row was to report that there was a that rumor tweet that came out that basically stated that Saints Row 4 was going to release in August of this year on current and next gen consoles. And of course, we all know over the course of the last week that that rumor actually came to pass as it was confirmed by that teaser trailer that Volition and Deep Silver cranked out that it is in fact going down and Saints Row 4 will be releasing on August 22nd of this year. So, now that that's out of the way and we know that a new Saints Row game is coming out, comes the wish lists and the speculations and basically talking about what it is that uh, a lot of the people who are still following the Saints Row franchise want in the game and hope is in the game and of course I'm one of those who uh, have been pretty much following this whole thing for a while even before we knew when Saints Row was actually going to uh, come to pass as the development for Saints Row 4 had begun even before they released Saints Row 3rd. So, a lot of the stuff that we're going to be seeing has been stuff that has been pretty much in the works since Saints Row the 3rd was released a couple of years ago. And obviously we know that the uh, Enter the Dominatrix DLC that was supposed to release for Saints Row the Third as its last DLC pack is going to be in Saints Row 4 and given that we also know that Steelport is still going to be the setting for Saints Row 4 has not yet been confirmed whether or not we'll be going back to Stillwater in any way shape or form in the game and personally I hope so because it would be really nice to see the old town with the uh, beefed up graphics and better looking visuals that Saints Row the Third brought to the game franchise compared to Saints Row's 1 and 2. Uh, as far as wish list goes for myself, I would also like to see more interior gameplay. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that was cut out of Saints Row the Third. Thanks to THQ's uh, money-grabbing tactics. We see where that got them, of course. But there was a lot of stuff that was supposed to have been in the game that wound up not being in the game. And one of the main things was interiors. Uh, there were a lot of buildings that you were supposed to be able to go into and explore the same way that there were a lot of buildings that you could do the, that with in Saints Row 2. Uh, powder being one of those places, the, uh, the the designer gun shop that was owned by the Morning Star that only made an appearance in a Stronghold mission is one big example. And then also the uh, Cathedral, I forgot where exactly in Steelport that is, was supposed to be another example of an interior. My guess is that it was probably going to uh, look a little bit like the old church that the Saints used to call their HQ back in Stillwater. Or maybe something completely different. Who knows. But there are a lot of buildings in Steelport that obviously look like they were supposed to have uh, gotten a little more detail in them on the inside that we only saw on the outside. And that's one of those things that I really hope that they have worked on over these years in development that Saints Row the Third has had, or Saints Row Four, I should say, has had. Uh, another one of those things that I want to see is uh, a little more continuity and in the story, considering the fact that Saints Row the Third has pretty much two possible endings that we really don't know which one is actually going to be the accurate one. Obviously, if you've not played Saints Row the Third, 
You might want to close your ears here because there's a bit of a spoiler alert. Because you pretty much had two choices towards the end of the game of how you wanted the game to play out. In which you're basically choosing who stays, who goes, who lives, and who dies. You either go after Kilbane and take him out. And uh, Sean D, Violet the Winter, and Mayor Reynolds get whacked by Kia of the Stag Unit. Or you go save them from Kia and Kilbane gets away. So which one of those are going to be the true ending of Saints Row the Third? Obviously, we're going to have to wait to find out when Saints Row 4 comes out. And then, of course, of course, is the Johnny Gat situation. Is he dead? Is he truly gone from the Saints Row games? And if so, well, what kind of backlash is that going to bring forth from the Saints Row community as obviously... Johnny Gat was one of the most popular characters within the series. He was basically the boss character's right-hand man throughout the entire course of Saints Row 2 and was an integral character, of course, in Saints Row 1 just to get taken out in such a weak fashion at the beginning of Saints Row the Third, kind of left a taste that was pretty bad in a lot of people's mouths. And, of course... Volition never followed up on that and gave anybody any indication that Gat actually does die at the start of the game. I know you get Zombie Gat as a secret uh, uh, partner that you can call on, but that could be kind of a joke or a trick or a troll move on the part of uh, Volition just messing with people's minds, you know. I'm kind of old school. I'm kind of dating myself here as far as age goes. But I don't know how many of you people out there watched the new uh, Dallas series. But that wasn't always a new Dallas series. There was also one that happened in the 80s. And uh, one of the most popular characters was J.R. Ewing. And in the old Dallas, they wound up killing off J.R. Ewing. Much to the chagrin of everybody who was a fan of the show. The backlash on that was so big so dramatic that the producers actually wound up changing the entire plot line and making that whole scenario of the character J.R. Ewing being killed a dream sequence and then J.R. was back alive and the show went on for as long as it went on. Could that be something that might happen with this whole Gat situation? Who knows? He might not be dead. He might just be in the background. Obviously, we don't know. We have no idea. The only thing that I can do right now is speculate as far as that goes until the game releases. And we know exactly for sure what it is that is going to happen with the, uh, the conclusion of this chapter of the Third Street Saints. Uh, actually, I think this is going to be the conclusion period for the series maybe I mean that's what the uh, trailer kind of uh, suggests which would kind of suck considering the fact that Saints Row is one of those franchises that they could kind of string out a little longer if they decide to do a couple of more uh, creative or more bold things they've already succeeded in differentiating themselves from the Grand Theft Auto series which is a good thing on them I don't care what anybody else thinks. It's good that they decided that they wanted to uh, steer away from what it was that GTA is doing. Because it makes their game that much more unique. It was never meant to be a GTA killer. And everybody who wants for the game to have gone back to its uh, more serious, more gritty roots. And have been kind of disappointed with the fact that it's become more tongue-in-cheek, adult swim kind of parody humor well there's always Grand Theft Auto that comes out later on this year too so you'll be able to get your fix pretty much and it shouldn't be too much of a problem for anybody everyone's gonna get what it is that they want and uh, that's just as far as that goes but uh, that's all I wanted to talk about here as far as what it is that we should hopefully be seeing 
or hope to see in Saints Row 4. And uh, I would really like to find out what it is that you guys think. So if you have any comments or if you have anything else that you think you would like to see or hope that you will see in the game, leave them down in the comments section. And uh, as always, I will be keeping tabs on everything that happens as far as news and rumors goes regarding the release of Saints Row 4. Something definitely is going to be announced about it at PAX East. Uh, that's already been confirmed. And PAX East is tomorrow as of this video. So we'll see exactly what goes on. And uh, I'll keep you up to date on that as well as everything else gaming wise that I find interesting. So until then, this is 3X. And I am out. See ya.